Good morning. It's Tuesday. Welcome to another early morning Bible study. So yesterday I did my whole Bible study and I posted it and then I went back and listened to it. There was no sound. So I had to check the sound this morning. Anyway, welcome again. We're at SheReadsTheTruth.com. Today's readings come from Hebrews uh, chapter 4 verses 14 through 16. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 11 through 14. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, John 1, verses 12 through 13, and Romans 8, verses 1 through 2. So um, the uh, study today talks about something that I think is very, very interesting. When we talk about the Bible and we talk about reasons why we don't open it, reasons why we don't get into the Word, and that's what yesterday was about, but you don't know that because it's not there. Anyway, so reasons why we don't get into the word. Um, sometimes we can make up all kinds of excuses. And when we make up all kinds of excuses, it's very interesting to me what happens when we actually do open it up. A lot of people go, well, I don't understand it. I don't know where to read. I don't know anything. But the truth is that um, the Bible is the reference about who we are. And I love this. I'm a child of God. John 1, verse 12. I am clothed with righteousness of Jesus. Isaiah 61, 10. I am free. Galatians 5, 1. I am not condemned. Romans 8, verse 1. I'm a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. And I am loved. Ephesians 5, verse 2. I mean, to think that I can open the Bible and hear such uplifting things about myself every day. You know, there are days we, we, we hurt ourselves with our words. Our self-talk is so negative. Okay, well here, here's the self-talk that the Bible says that you should say to yourself. I'm a child of God. I'm clothed with righteousness. I'm Jesus. I'm free. I'm not condemned. I'm a new creation. I am loved. Can you imagine the way that you would feel if you reminded yourself of those things daily and, and not looked at what the world is telling you? The world is telling you lies, but the Bible tells you the truth. And the truth is these things here. They were written. Are you, are you a believer? Do you follow Christ? Do you understand that he died for us? Sinless, blameless. He took all of those things for us. I remember the other day I told you that uh, someone taught me a long time ago, grace. Grace. It's God's redemption at Christ's expense. It was our gift. So there's some things that, you know, I must always have the desire to open my Bible. I need to understand everything I read in the scripture. These are false rules. Okay. These are things that we tell ourselves, oh, I can't get in there. I can't do that. And that's the reason why. There were no qualifications about being able to open up the Bible. It's, it's there for you. It's there for you to understand it. You don't have to have a degree to do it. It's just there. And the more that you're in there and the more that you read your words, the words, the more that you're going to see how much is there just for you. It's, it's so beautiful to know these things right here, just to know them. So I hope you have a great day and I hope that you take a minute and read these over and over to yourself and let that talk, self-talk be a positive one because you are loved. And you are a child of God. You are free. You are clothed with the righteousness of Jesus. You are a new creation. And you are not condemned. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.